Oh, oh, boy, TV. They scared, but I'm not. They don't like commentario. Y suscribe. Former Golden State. I want to say a legend because he, to me, he was legendary out here. Legend. Man. Came Sean, straight out of high school, y'all. Sean Livingston tearing things up. But he was on Knuckleheads recently. Hold on. What's going on here? <laughs> that was not <laughs> Sean Livingston. <laughs> Big Paul Sean, Shout out Sean to Liv Truth. Sean Livingston was just on the Knuckleheads podcast, and he confirmed, put a nail in the coffin to our KD, Steph Curry, Warrior debate. And he wasn't, he was nice about it, I should say. He was nice about it. Yeah, we were. <laughs> Did that change the mood from what we just, what just happened? It was crazy. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was shot. It was this. The shock, and it was like, I'm, I'm sitting getting a cut. I'm in the barber seat, and I remember, you know, just seeing on my phone, like, damn, like KD to the Warriors. And I showed the barber, you know, and he like, it was just shock. Like, man, this man really finna come. Like, who we, you know, I'm thinking, like, who did I get traded? Like, I'm, I'm on the team still, like, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a shock, and it really hit home when he got in training camp, bro, walked through the door. Cause I, I play again throughout all my stops, I played with a lot of these guys. I was in OKC. James, Russell, Kevin Durant. This day first two years. They're young guys. But by this time, it's Katie. Think about it for a second, Fabian. He was. Just watching him. Cup of coffee. Just a cup of coffee. Not very long. Cup of coffee. Go check. Go check, bro. Sean Livingston was on that Brooklyn Nets team that was battling in the playoffs against Miami. Like, Sean been on a couple teams before he got to uh, Golden State to get busy. It says it all over your face, like, damn, I forgot about that. <laughs> Took a sip of water. Even, I don't even remember. <laughs> right, right. Cup of coffee, because he did, he did, he did Brooklyn, OKC, Washington, Charlotte. I could be mistaken with, with the Bobcats, mate, but he had a couple stops when he was ramping back up to trying to get, you know, back into shape. Back into proving that he could, you know, play on that level again, and then Golden State gave him his opportunity. So officially, yep. Of course, he started with the Clippers. He had that horrible knee injury. Right, 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 right. He got drafted by the Clippers. Right. He Went was really that saving grace. Oh, well, he was supposed to be. I mean, that Clippers. You got to think early, early 2000s Clippers, bro. That just for having that moron of an owner and still lucking up, Elton Brand and Sean Livingston injuries ruined the Clippers. Because remember, they had Elton, Sean, Sam Cassell came over there, Chris Kamen, right? That was a playoff team. That was a legit playoff team. It was good. I like Chris Kamen, but like even Chris with Kamen. Baron Davis was there, he got, he, you know, they were just dysfunctional, but mm -hmm. they didn't have the right, oh my God, he, that guy's a moron. You know, of course, Quentin Richardson uh, was the kid that went to UNC. McGinnis. Jeff McGinnis. Charles Oakley slapped Jeff McGinnis in the face, y'all. Go listen to that Lam story. I love that story. Lamar Odom was there. The Clippers team. Lamar Odom tells that story. <laughs> the Clippers teams, they were a fun watch. He was. They were a fun watch against any team because they could do anything any given night. Man, Darius Miles. Miles. Uh, 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 Got drafted, they gave him the KG comparisons. I was just like, Why would you do that? Didn't obviously was never a KG, but those Clippers teams, man, by wow, year those four, two injuries they had two year, major injuries, Flea. Two by major year, injuries by year four. I'm just speaking on what you're saying right now. We could say that easily right now, but Darius is the 2000 draft. I'll look it up, but I. I what I'm saying he, is the 2000 is Tyson Chandler. Okay, Eddie so it's got to be around there. 2000, 2001, one of the two. Darius Miles is a top three pick, I think. But at that time, it's projection, bro. It's projection. He's not Kevin Garnett, but can we project for him to be a Kevin Garnett type player? Yeah, Eric, Eric Evan Mobley. Definitely not Kevin Garnett. Can we project for him to be something like Kevin Garnett? Yeah. Nobody is going to be Kevin, though. Nobody. 
He's tall, skinny, athletic. Right, that, right. That's easy. Bony. Like yes. bony, and that's yes. what it was. Yes. Lanky dude. Yeah. How tall was Darius Miles? Six nine? Ten. Yeah, he says six nine two ten. That's that's part of what it is, too. I think KG may have grown an inch or two since, since he came to the league, so you never know if he gets another inch on him. Yeah, third overall pick, 2000 draft. Yeah, number two. Memory, three, yeah. And Clippers, boy, it would, it would tough, man. It would tough. Let's get back to it. I remember Becky watching Hamm him warm up, watching him go through his workout for the first time. I was just sitting there just like, like a, a fan, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like we already won a chip by this time. Like we, we feel yeah. like we made man, but we watching as a fan, like this dude seven foot out here, what he doing his work, his work ethic, yeah. like watching him, you know, get to his spot, shooting trays, hezzies, all the, you know, the one twos, like footwork, the footwork, like, it's like, damn. He's tall it, as hell too. Some real seven foot. I mean, he's six, six, nine, but footer, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Out here, you know, all the guard work, guard mm -hmm. work, you know what I'm saying? With, with this, with that, with that gun, you know? <laughs> and it was just like, he about to be on our team with what we got. <laughs> like, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. And it was because... It changed the mood doing the it, it changed the mood. It changed the mood because we still... It was me, Dre, still on the second team. So, you know, obviously, it took us to a different level because we already had the culture in place with Steph, Clay, Dre, right? And then you had me and Andre as the vets. Go out, you get David West, bring in another vet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He knew to the team, but he a made man. D West, mm -hmm. shout out D West. Yeah. You know, so now you got, you know, a solid foundation and then you just bring this killer to, you know what I'm saying? You bring a unicorn to what we what we have, it was just telepathy. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, we all just moving. It's like string music. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but then you got him in the fourth to, like, we just out here watching him. Like, <laughs> just get this man to rock. Like, yeah. yeah. How, yeah. how was, did you, you look at Steph? Because I know you had a, a high... So they already said in the summer the mood changed. The mood changed. You on they, mute? They lost, bro. They lost. That summer, that that summer was different for that team. Only being because they had success. Twenty fifteen, they win, right? And then they win seventy three games. Only lose nine games. But but flee, you the best player on the team. Face of the franchise. Face of the NBA. Damn near. Okay. Kevin Durant walks through that door. Right. You Sean Livingston. Right. The mood changed. I don't care. When an alpha walks through the door, I hate that term. Me too. But it is what it is. Especially physically. You know, yeah. we can speak to Kevin Durant emotionally. The mood changed, y'all. Definitely. He's, he's walking us through it. You're the best player on the court. Team light skin. Splash Brothers. Splash Brothers. But Nino walked through the door. <laughs> I will never call you G-Money again in life. That will never, ever happen again in life. Fabi was argument. about to kill us, y'all. Go rewatch that, y'all. He said, G-Money? Nah. He said, nah. Not in, the, not in the argument. You could do that like right now. It'd be hilarious. And you, yeah. <laughs> speaking of G-Money, and then we go right to the clip. <laughs> high level of respect for Steph, but for Steph to have KD come in and I don't want to say take a step back, but understood like, yeah, KD might need to be the first option. Mm -hmm. I need to be the second mm -hmm. option. Mm -hmm. How did you look at Steph after you seen him with no problem, welcome KD with open arms and was cool with him taking the most shots and yeah. doing all that? It was hard for Steph because it was an adjustment. He didn't make the adjustment until Christmas game. Mm -hmm. And I remember we, I think we lost to the Cavs that, that, that game. Mm -hmm. um, Kyrie again, last second shots. But, um, you know, Steph, that's the part where you say he's such a nice guy because he is the most humble superstar I've ever been around. Yeah. We didn't been around superstars, yeah. and the blueprint of what you've seen was Mike, where it's like, get out the way if you don't want to win my way, right? right? And everybody coming after Mike felt like you had to be a certain type of, yeah. you know what I'm saying, personality. Cole was that way in a way, right? Like, it was the asshole type of personality. Steph wasn't that way, but he still had that competitive killer instinct on the court but he, he's quiet, good dude, well-spoken, right? Um, come from a good background, all the things where it was just different. And he allowed you to be comfortable on the court with him, even though he was a superstar. And you didn't get that a lot. You know if you're playing with superstars, because that ball got a little bit more weight on it when he passed it to you. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, you know, <laughs> Steph allowed you to still be yourself. He still, you know, 
wanted you to be yourself. He never got on guys. He was never yelling at guys. That wasn't his type of energy. And so when KD got there, the fact that he went to go recruit, you know, like not recruit, but just talk to him, you know, and, and hey, man, like we got a chance to do something special. Most superstars like, hey, team, you know, GM, you go do that, right? Like you, you know, I'll put a call in, but I'm not going to pull up. Like yeah. that's the humility that Steph has. And that's the, you know, his character, what goes into his character. Like, you know, I'll take a step back if this is for the best of the team. You don't see that with superstars. It's, yeah. it's, it's my narrative. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to control it the way because that's what my talent dictate. Um, that's what I watch. He did it differently. Um, so he took a step back and had to make the biggest adjustment. Uh, and I think that's what KD was looking at. Like, you know, is Steph going to take that step back? I've never seen anybody score so efficiently as KD. Mm -hmm. 30 on like 12 shots. 12 shots. How? <laughs> right. And so like when he came, it wasn't really an adjustment for him because he could get his in the flow yeah. like no one else I've ever seen. Um, Steph, you know, like his was a little bit more volume, oh, really? right? Yeah. Like he needed a little bit more rhythm. And then after that Christmas game, I think, you know, there was internal conversation amongst them two, which it had to be, right? Like, look, I need you to be Steph Curry. And then once, once Steph was like, all right, you know, KD good, he's good with us. It was like unstoppable from there. You grew up in Illinois, so I know you're a big Bulls fan. You watch Mike them. They go, they go further into that. No, 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 no. They, no. they, like, they start to segue away from that. That's some powerful stuff, Sean Livingston just said. Like but first, some let me powerful let me, stuff. Go ahead. Then no, let me retract my retraction. I did go, used to go back and forth to annoy Steph Curry fans like KD was the best player on that team. And at the time, you know, uh, Warriors fans, they they dominate a lot of Twitter, just dominate the conversation throughout the last 10 years. You know, Steph is Steph. I think he's a, the system is different. But KD walking through that door sounds like Mike coming back in 94, 95, whenever it was after his baseball retirement, DK, DK. Compared to something else, just I don't know who to go. Oh, LeBron going to Miami. He walked through uh, that door. D Wade, it took them a year, a year, and get embarrassed. LeBron getting it specifically dropping how the many, ball. 06, some of 06, they win, some of 2010, he goes. So three, three years between D Wade. Okay. Okay, but it, it's this, it's similar because the Bulls didn't win without Mike. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Golden State won, but they had major loss. Right. Durant walks in there. Very interesting. The two notes I just took immediately were: the ball weighs a little differently, a little heavier when the superstars involved, and also he corrected himself when he said, you know, when they went and recruited Cade. Let me go holler at him. Yeah. We know no, about you, the Hampton Five, baby. We know you about recruited the Hampton them. Y'all recruited them. He was scared to death of LeBron. Speaking of LeBron, D Wade took a back seat. Had to sit LeBron down. Let him know. Listen, this is your team. We don't. We can't win without you being you. Looks like Golden State had the same conversation around Christmas. The same something. I don't. Know, some Professor X power. Somebody used some telekinesis. Surprised Draymond with the big mouth they didn't say anything. Hasn't said anything since. I would love to hear his comments about this. If you go back and look at that game, and not really the game, but if you go back and look at KD's performance, KD had 36 points and 15 rebounds. Or, or for like 11 or 21 shooting. I mean, we might have to look again for me, but I know he had 36 and 15 rebounds, right? And they did lose that game. Like, like we talked about Kyrie uh, last shot on, uh, you know, over Clay Thompson. Clay had made him take a tough fall away. But from that moment on, things completely changed for that 2017 Warriors team. Like, it completely changes. They go into the new year. That's Christmas. They go into the new year, and if it, it seems like it flipped a switch. Meaning, yeah, we know that. And see, something to your point, a couple of uh, a couple of episodes ago, you mentioned Kevin Durant not being a guy that could play in that system, right? You had mentioned that about, you know, we don't really need, I'm paraphrasing you now, I'm not quoting you, but we don't really need KD because this is the system and we could kind of 
plug and play and do our thing. Obviously, they plugged and play was able to win in 22, right? But you couldn't do that with anybody else, Fabian. Nobody else fits seamlessly into that Golden State Warriors team like Kevin Durant. And the big reason why is because of what Sean Livingston said. He said, I've never seen a guy so efficient in my life. The guy who go get 30 on 12 shots. That fits in the system because you're not taking bad shots. You're not taking ill-advised shots. You're not uh, taking volume shots, like he said, with Steph, right? Steph has to get going. So it may take him five. He may take him to go 0 for 5 and then hit that six shot. And now I'm 1 for 6. And now, I, you know, now I get going. Kevin Durant don't need that. And so that's why that was so easy to, like, ingratiate into the team. But, man, bring Kevin Durant over there. Things changed, man. Things changed. Like you said, they were scared to death of LeBron James. I was just having a conversation about who's a better just individual player, Kyrie Irving or Steph Curry. And I think it's a valid conversation to have, right? It's, it's valid. You pick who you want, whatever. But don't start talking to me about the championships when we start talking about those two guys. When we evaluate in those two, don't talk to me about who has more championships and all that. That doesn't matter when we evaluate in those two guys. And um, yeah, I just think match made in heaven. Last thing I got for you, I'm gonna give it back to you. Um, that that made me respect Steph Curry a little more. I have a little a different profound respect for him to be able to do what he did and still perform the way he did. If we go back to those two seasons, three seasons even, Steph didn't drop below 20, you know, not shoot efficiently, not shoot 40 from three, not lead the league in, in, in free throw percentages, not, you know, not up his, 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 his assist per game. He became a better rebounder. Like, Steph didn't fall off the cliff and just become a spot-up three-point shooter when Kevin Durant came. He was still damn good, right? Still damn good. So I want to end with that. Like, I got a little bit more respect for Steph Curry for the way Sean Livingston explained that. I would have loved to hear it come from Steph, but the way Sean broke that down, um, that level of selflessness, that takes a lot from great players. I, I just wish they had more respect for Kevin Durant if that's the case. That's fair. That's and fair. What, what I, I wasn't – I guess I was repeating the system of, of that Golden State and Steph Curry provides. Yeah, I mean, Kevin Durant, I think, is the super version of, of that. But Paul George could easily fit in that Golden State. There's some guys, Kawhi Leonard, there's some guys that could have fit there, but you got to be not on that level. Like Harrison Barnes was the complete <laughs> – opposite of that so somewhere between Harrison Barnes and Kevin Durant you could have had something with 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 them some shooter I mean all these names I'm gonna have to come up with a you know I don't know if Kevin Love fits there but clearly even Kyrie's like a doesn't fit there to me because he's shorter you need somebody and you got nobody shorter than 6'4 in that starting lineup also they can all put the ball on the floor they can shoot they can handle they go in the transition it's over and that was the thing. You would see highlights of Steph Curry. They got three guys on him. In transition, they run to <laughs> Steph Curry. Trying to find line. him. And, and Durant's and, like, and, oh. And Durant is open over here. Clay is open over here. Draymond got the basketball. And, and, and Iggy is in the dunker spot. Wide open. Everybody is wide open. And, and Everybody Iggy's there. Wide open. Yeah, so I don't, I don't think it took much. But you can't. You know, I, Clay, Durant now puts you in a conversation with Durant puts the Warriors in a conversation that we spoke before. Kevin Durant puts you in a conversation with Bulls, really the Celtics of the 80s, because they have four super guys like that as well. I mean, who else? I, even Shaq and Kobe Lakers is like they didn't have the it wasn't a super team. You know, this that's no, a different I think, kind I think of they lineup. Had the, 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 they had the right guys around them. We was just talking about Rick Fox. I don't think Rick Fox gets enough credit on how good of a pro he was, right? Robert Ory, great pro. Uh, even, even that first championship in 2000, people forget Glenn Rice is a Rice. starter. Right. I, I, you read my mind. I think Glenn Rice, imagine if Glenn Rice was had more in him. Three years younger, Fabian. 
three years younger for Glenn Rice as a Laker? Lord have mercy. Then that that's a series that you go, oh, you're not beating them. Yeah, because right. it's right. So well, I didn't think Indiana was gonna beat them. I didn't think Philly would beat them. I didn't think no, Jersey no, no. would beat them. I'm talking about right. Golden State, like in our, in our imaginary oh, okay, I matchup. You. But I, I, again, I gotta concede the point when people are, are watching Kevin Durant walk through the gym and you feel like that because that's your guy. Steph Curry's your guy, and you feel that way when he walked through the gym. That's not how they talked about Scotty. They don't. They might talk about Kobe like that, but Shaq is just like, "What? Well, you can't do nothing with that." That's, this is just a different kind of conversation. There's nobody else they talked about like that. Even Kevin McHale, they didn't talk about them like Larry Bird. They just didn't. It was a fear. It sounded like they were scared. And everybody oh, else Bird? was clearly of uh, Bird and, and Kevin Durant on the Warriors. Oh. Like that, just that feeling of you see who's the best ball player on the team. I think that puts it to bed, Fabian. I think Sean Livingston has put that to bed. I don't think there's no there's no more debating if who was the best player. Who was what's the reason, the sole reason why they went back to back, almost did a three P. He is the so, sole. I, I think soul is where they go. The is where they mess up, crazy. but it's it's clearly the huge, the big. All right, sorry. Let me, let me let's okay. Let's do semantics. Not soul. Sorry. He is a huge reason why the Golden State Warriors were able to go to three straight NBA Finals after losing that three one lead. Right. Kevin Durant, huge reason. Yeah. And you needed, you needed. I mean, those San Antonio teams are slept on, right? But you know, back to back sixty win teams. Did we not? We did. The, we did the math on that. We did the work they went on to that. Three straight Western Conference Finals. They lost to OKC. They he hurt his foot. Kawhi hurt his foot on Ja Ja Puchulia. They won sixty seven games that year, Fabian. Sixty seven to win sixty seven games in the West, and the, and the Warriors have Kevin Durant. The Warriors have Kevin Durant. They still won 67 games. OG, if you're watching, because I know you're still on PTO. You ran out of PTO. I keep telling you. But if you are watching right now, 67 games. Put some respect on Greg Popovich's name. That's but close those, Tim Duncan. Oh, what did right. he do after Tim? Well, that, well, that was with Tim Duncan. That's Tim. 60, yeah. Marcus but they Aldridge. still won another 60-something games after that. Yeah, I just that's that was the team when you talk about team effort, but that was like not a super team, but just well balanced and well balanced. Ginobili still there. Ginobili still there. That's, they that's Dante Murray's the, uh, rookie year, I think. Did he tear his ACL? Not yet, but he's a rookie, I think. One of those two, the fact the fact of the matter is we want to be we want to be accurate on what we're saying. The fact of the matter is they won 60 plus games twice. In a time where their run was going down, right? It was it was it was on the downslide. So that's big stuff for that team. So uh the jury's out, guys. Kevin Durant was the best player on the Warriors teams. <laughs> this, this is what it is. All Com- with your mama. Players that played there are saying it. Players that played there are saying it. Don't y'all run and listen to Draymond Green. <laughs> Sean Livingston is saying it. If y'all go Steph Curry, Steph Curry might say it too. It's just facts. Especially, it's, you see the way Curry was looking at Kevin Durant at the Olympics. Just saying. Just saying. Oh, oh, boy, TV. They scared, but I'm not. They don't like commentario. Y suscribe.